What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how I created this 3D hologram effect. So the first thing I did was film the item that I wanted to turn into a hologram on a coloured background or like a green screen. I did this so I can easily delete the background once I'm editing. And to make the item spin, I just hung it from a piece of wire and made sure that it spun at least 360 degrees so that we can create a looping 3D image of the item. So here is my raw video clip and what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this and create a loop so that it's just constantly spinning. So I'm going to copy and paste this video clip. So once I have a nice length loop of the object, what I'm going to do is select it and I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so that when I add effects, they won't be cropped out. And then I'm going to right click and go to new compound clip. And then I'm going to go over to my effects tab and I'm going to use the go to keying and I'm going to drag on the keyer effect which is going to delete the background. So now I have this spinning image. What I'm going to do is drag this over the video clip that I want to add the hologram to. So now I'm going to try and make this look more like a hologram. What I'm going to do is go to the blend mode and I'm going to turn this to add so that it becomes transparent. And depending on your background, then maybe a different blend mode would work best. Or you could just leave it in normal and drop the opacity slightly. So the next effect I'm going to add is the bad TV effect, which is like a glitch effect. So this is going to make it look a bit more glitchy, a bit more like a hologram. And then I'm going to add some glow effect. And I'm going to use the glint effect. And I'm just going to change the settings. I'm going to up the intensity to just give it more of a glow. And change the tint color to like a bluey color and turn the tint up. And next I'm going to add a flicker effect. Then I'm going to go up to the color board and make it just a little bit more blue using the color section on the color board. For all of these effects, I'm going to put them together and create like a hologram preset. So I'll leave the link to the preset in the description if you want to have that as a drag and drop preset, all of these effects added together. Okay, so next step, I'm going to make the hologram fit into the scene a bit better by tracking it to the mobile phone. So to do that, what I'm going to do is select my bottom video clip I'm going to go down to trackers and I'm going to click on this add tracker. And then I'm going to make this nice and small and track. Once we have the tracker done, I'm going to select the hologram and hit the transform tool over here. Go down to the, go to the tracker, drop down menu, make sure the tracker source is the video clip underneath the hologram and then go to tracker object track. I don't want to use the rotation. I just want the position and then click done. And then I'm just going to go down to the scale of this hologram. And we can just move that into position where you think it fits best. So now we have it tracked to the phone. So it's like a projection from the phone. I'm going to add like a glow effect from the phone. And to do that, what I'm going to do is go up to my generators. I'm going to use this Nova generator. And I'm just going to scale this down and use the distort to flatten the image over the phone. And then I'm going to right click and go new compound clip. And I'm going to track that to the phone as well. So now that sticks with the phone, I'm going to add a few effects. I'm going to add a blur effect. I'm going to add the Gaussian blur and then also a zoom blur. And the zoom blur, I'm just going to drag underneath. And if I brighten this up, it's 
So yeah, I just added a Gaussian blur, zoom blur, and tweak the colors as well, which adds a nice glow to the phone. And because it's tracked to the phone, then the glow will always sort of stay in that area. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I think it turned out pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.